God, this is stressful, man. Like praying for someone doing something so challenging is really bloody stressful. And Dave really, really, really wants to quit. Dave, you're not like the Hey guys, welcome back. We are Philly and Keely, and this is our van, Martha. And for over two and a half years whoa, now, whoa, we've whoa. been. Whoa, 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 we do not have time for this. Mm. If you guys have seen part one, you'll have seen that we've taken on the mammoth task of supporting an ultra marathon runner on the southwest coast path of England. Yeah, to break the current record, he has to run a total of 1,014 kilometers, which is really far. <laughs> um, That's a long way. <laughs> and climb a total elevation of 35,000 meters. That is climbing four Everests. Yeah, literally. And he only has six days and 12 hours left to break this world Yay! record. And the truth is, with each passing day, it's genuinely looking less and less likely that he's going to pull this off. Yeah, and with an injury and serious mental and physical fatigue, this gets really tough. Yeah, it does. So join us in this video, see if Dave survives, see if we survive, <laughs> and let's see if he can pull this thing off. Yeah, let's go. Let's go. You can't really see it, but I'm sure you can hear it. It's raining pretty heavily right now. The weather forecast says to expect thunder and lightning. It's pushing pretty hard. He's got, um, he's went over on his ankle. His ankle's proper swollen. It's a tough day for him. He's gotta keep going. He told us to push him. He told us when he wanted to stop that we weren't allowed to let him. But I'm also afraid to tell him that he has to keep running. <laughs> but we've got, hot vegetable soup for him. We'll just fill him up with more energy, some good vibes, and hopefully get him back on the track. <laughs> Go on, Dave, you can do it. They seem actually in good form, um, but he definitely needs sleep, you know, like he's just not slept this whole time. So fingers good. crossed, we're gonna book him a, a hotel at around the 86 kilometer mark, isn't that right? Yeah. We need to finish our video, pack up the van, Make tracks. Let's go. Unable to meet his target for day four, this record is seriously at risk of slipping away. Well done, guys. You just blasted this. Wow. Agony. Guys, we got this. This is exciting. Are you not excited right now? Record is definitely on. It is on. Five more days. Oh, we're happy with him. Dave's buzzing. Just can't see it. We're not quite halfway there, though, but nearly. We will be halfway there, too. So we have got a crew to our crew now. Second van is here with Tom and Freya and they are helping take down the tents now. They're also going to help us try and source a new pipe for our sink because the pipe's broke and now the sink is not functional. Dave doesn't seem in good shape, to be honest. This is tough. It's tough for everyone. We set up a makeshift bed on top of our bed because things are pretty bad. Yeah. So Dave, he went over on his ankle and then he's been running on it constantly ever since. Mm -hmm and it's starting to swell up pretty bad. We've given like meds for it, we've got like compression socks and um, kinesthetic tape. We've been trying to manage it as well as we can. I know he wants it. This is what he said to us at the start. He was like, don't let me quit. I want to quit, but you're not allowed to let me quit. Welcome. Hello. <laughs> he doesn't even look dead. YouTube life this morning. <laughs> I was in a white am I gonna be on YouTube? Uh, yes. Might as well give me a <laughs> The kids are buzzing if they say we're on YouTube. They just don't want his feet on YouTube. People are going to be like, who's that troll that you're <laughs> bandaging up there with those toenails? Don't film that! That's disgusting! <laughs> what it really means to be an ultra marathon trail runner. So I think 
Dave <laughs> and even Steve had been feeling a bit defeatist there. An absolute perfect timing. Another runner just showed up who'd been following the tracker. They've just uh, went out for a little stint of the run together. I think a little bit of a nap, a big pasty, and another runner there to encourage him on. Um, I'm really hoping that this is a turnaround point where he can like get morale back and keep going. Feeling about your day two on the trail. Oh, eating. <laughs> Need pulled, to gain. Pull that apple out of nowhere. <laughs> I'm doing the last stint, mm -hmm. it seems like, and I did it yesterday as well. You get my running in the dark? Yeah, I think it's alright. I think uh, I also need somebody to run in the dark with me. Oh, yeah, for sure. Love you, bye. Let's go get a drink, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Pretty tough. I know it must be super frustrating to have an injury, knowing that you can do better, but still climbing, still running through the pain, takes a lot of balls. So, just got a phone call from Philly, and Dave really, really, really wants to quit. Like, he's about nine kilometers away from where he's meant to stop tonight. But Philly's trying to get him to keep going, but he says he's in a lot of pain. It's tough, like, because you don't want to put him in pain, but you also kind of need him to keep going. So it's a weird balance to not be cruel, but also help push him, you know. Unfortunately, he had to stop and only managed to cover 69 kilometres today. So there's no path for the van to get down. We're hoping that he's going to come around this bend anytime now. You all right? Him. It looks a lot more glamorous from the drone. <laughs> yeah, the drone looks stunning, man. So yeah, we had to jog down from where we could get the car parked. Yeah, now I'm a bit worried that we've missed him. We pulled the drone up trying to find him. We should have got him like in time. I don't know if he's running really fast and he's passed us and now we've missed a food stop and I don't know when we can get to him again. We've got no signal. And I don't know where Philly is. It's very daunting and very challenging at times. Where are you, Dave? Honestly, Philly's been gone for such a long time now. Like, I actually feel like crying because we have no signal. And like, all I know is Dave hasn't eaten in about six hours. I'm really stressed and I don't know where Philly is and the drone battery's dead. I can't find anyone. I'm just sitting here and I can't help and I don't understand what to do and I'm freaking out. <laughs> I need to find them both. Two runners have just come over the brow of that hill. Oh my goodness, is this Philly and Dave? Is this Philly and Dave? I think it is. I think Philly's holding a blue jumper. <laughs> I've got teary eyes. I've been so worried. God, this is stressful, man. Like, crewing for someone doing something so challenging is really bloody stressful. Oh my God, stressful. Okay, good, 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 good. Sit down and put your foot up. I'm so worried. <laughs> I knew you would be. Right, Bye. That was... It's tough, isn't it? Isn't Kroon was so tough mentally? Kroon is tough. Because you just want to make his life as easy as possible. Mm -hmm. But it's... This is the, the unseen side, I suppose. Everyone's always like seeing the point of view of a runner and now you're seeing the point of view of the support. three people yeah. having mental breakdowns. <laughs> so Philly's random meet him and bring him to us. There he is. Hello. Welcome. How you doing? Hey. Just in time to miss the rain. <laughs> I never thought in a million years we'd convince Dave to get into our van and into our bed. <laughs> no, no. Okay, night. This is video evidence that I tried to kick them out of the van to run 
and they got in the front to hide from the rain. They'll see you in the rain. <laughs> Dave, Dave will get out of the van in the rain. 16, 17, <laughs> 18, 19, 30, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, 43, Forty-six. If I had a pound for every time I've heard that line. Ding 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 How fantastic is this? What? Know, Look at this! Just like, wow! I can't get over this. Yeah, this coast path is absolutely insane. Like, I wish we had time to get out and see more of it, but these little glimpses that we get out to see, it's just sensational. It really is. You're a bit close there. Yes, yeah, maybe a bit risky having me this close to the edge. I'm a bit clumsy. You need a lead on you. We have to get back to the van now to make our way to the next stop because, guys, we're on day eight. He needs to finish this in 10 days and 12 hours, which means we really have to start blasting. So we're just doing short stop, short stop, short stop, refuel, refuel, and keep running. Cause it's gonna be close whether he gets this record or not. He's so bloody well getting it. Oh, that's my seat. I might say I'm allowed to drive. Uh, flipping nowhere. <laughs> 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 Good one! <laughs> oh Dave, what have you done? What have you done to your feet Dave? Like a horror movie. <laughs> <laughs> they do look like some sort of... Like Freddy Krueger feet! Katie's gonna edit this video, so she's gonna see all this. Dave's getting some treatment on his hideous troll feet. <laughs> <laughs> it happens when you, you run for like eight days, nine days straight. Yeah, I'm just gonna stay in here and uh, you can do that, okay? Three meters away and can still smell them. <laughs> How are you feeling, Dave? Lovely. Yeah, feeling strong? Yeah, got an extra toe. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good look. Look at this guy carrying two bags. That's what friends are. You need to go. I got this. Right, team. Cheers, mate. No problem. Hey, Sam. You got this. <laughs> Billy's in the car, and I'm in the van, following the car because one of the guys is running with Dave's cars here, so we're convoying. Not a fan of these little teeny tiny roads. Just saying. Here, all that lovely scratching. That's the paint working. Martha dying. I don't know if I can fit. Flipping heck. Fair play to you. When I looked back, the van was literally the full of It was. Road. I was getting scratched on both sides. What yeah. the heck? <laughs> we just came up over the brow of the hill and look at these rocks in the water. What? That's even real. What type of weird geology type? What is that? It looks like the spikes on a giant crocodile. We've been parked up for about four hours now. Dia said he'd be here in two hours, so I'm starting to get slightly worried. Don't have any reception here. So for the last hour, I've been walking around trying to find a signal, just to make sure everything's okay. Back at the van, I managed to find reception, so I could look them up in the tracker and see that they're still moving. I honestly just don't know how this guy is still alive. <laughs> Like honestly, he's done over 800k in nine days through like the sun, the rain, the dark. It takes a, a different breed. You see them? <laughs> <laughs> it gets a bit nerve-wracking, doesn't it? You definitely get very anxious feeling, yeah. 
but they're here. You're right. I'm good. Happy to see you. How's the drive down here? All right. Oh my word. A bit hairy. <laughs> That's the worst mood I've been in since I've been there. That was hard, mate. Doing well, though, mate. I'm so happy to see you. Yeah, me too. Oh, yeah, I love cheese sandwich. The next one, I think, is going to try and look at it. Yeah, I'm charged my watch and phone. Yeah. check that there's still some <laughs> left. <laughs> give you some light here. It's torture for us and, and we're getting so much more sleep than he is. He's literally running on fumes. Yeah, I like, know. I just can't fathom the the delusion he's in right now. Me neither. Day 10, baby. Day 10 is... Day 10. Wild horses! Yeah. <laughs> I'm just so delusional right now. Yeah, we are. So we're on our way to the penultimate stop right now, I think. Or the second, third from the... We don't I know. don't know. We left him off going into the dark. That was his last stop where he was going to get any sleep. We got 20 minutes, was it? Yeah, now the next few stops are just going to be fuel, basically, to get to the, to the finish line. And needless to say, right now, we're zombies. He's told Zombie! us... Zombie! No, I'm not awake enough for this type of energy, sweet mercy. I love you, but sheesh. He told us last night that he was hallucinating and stuff, and um, that he nearly walked off a cliff a few times. Like, we've actually had sleep and we're delusional, so one, it must be like to be putting your body through that with such little sleep, with an injury, just running on adrenaline and caffeine. Like, I would have walked off a cliff, I honestly, I would have, <laughs> probably. <laughs> I mean, like, I'm gonna end it all, what was I thinking? Ah, uh, so, and then amongst us doing all this, guys, we're trying to upload this week's video, we're trying to finish editing it. Like, I just, this has been, honestly, the most challenging 10 days, like, for us hands down. What do you think? Like, it really has, it, it really, really has. It makes me appreciate, like, the people behind. I suppose you have to remember there's always like a big team of people behind all of these like upfront figurines, figures, Ooh. figurines, whatever. Figurines? I don't know what I'm talking about. Plastic? I can't <laughs> feel my arm anymore because the camera's got so heavy. So uh, you know, plastic I'm, 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 I'm like hanging up on you. People around them. Okay, okay. Yeah, See, you behind the See you soon. See <laughs> you soon. You want an idea? You're doing well. Oi, buns. The end will be in sight. Coast path, baby. 
and blurry wet. I can't see anything. He's coming. Oh my god. He's fine. I thought there was an. I actually. Oh my goodness, I actually got so stressed there. I thought there'd been an injury. I'll see you in 14k. Yeah, sweet. Nice one, guys. Hey, brother. Why's that hill? Not like that. Yeah, somewhere like that. <laughs> that was the last time we saw Dave. We're on the home stretch, eh? Really are. Considering it's 3 a.m., I think we're all pretty merry right now. Yeah. It's, it's one of those strange ones where it's like, we're completely knackered, but a little bit giddy that it's going to be over soon. <laughs> yeah, I know. It's currently three o'clock and the record is 4 p.m. So we've got just under 13 hours. Fair it's play. It's close. It's going to be close, man. <laughs> Do you even know that Diana? <laughs> Do you just have a power nap? Have you got any final words for the camera? I have a wet ball. Dave is it? Fun. This is almost the final stint. <laughs> Woo! Yeah. Come on, Dave. Boop, boop, boop. Dave's crew at your service. <laughs> I'm pretty sure you're going left. You're just going left. Hey, Dave, you got this? I'm going to sprint finish with Dave. <laughs> <laughs> we'll pull out of the bag for the last 10k, you know? I'm not sure how he's going to feel about that. Oh wait, my kettle's a boiling. It's all kicking off here, guys. You look fabulous. As always. <laughs> Do you want some sun cream? Yeah. Let me show you something, come here. Yeah. What is it? See that there? Yeah. That's the way to mine head. Oh lord, Philly, you're literally running up a mountain. I can't wait. <laughs> Dave's gonna be a nice change from you. Oh yeah, because I usually am really slow and whingy. <laughs> oh Philly, look how pale you look compared to Dave. Well, that's because I haven't been running. <laughs> you're so light. <laughs> this is great. I'm gonna do the next one with Dave. Oh, we discussed yeah. it. Yeah, Dave's compared to Some point in the last three days. I don't know whether it was today or yesterday or the day before. <laughs> right, boys, up you go. Uh, I thought this was meant to be a run, guys. Come on. <laughs> That's nice sprint finish. One last hill. Want to take this opportunity Super crew. to thank Dave for inviting us out here. <laughs> you know, could have done it without him. <laughs> Still in the glory, running the last 10k. Do you reckon this is the hardest one you've ever did? Definitely, it's had its ups and downs. You've seen me in a pretty low state. But um, that's all right. I'm just glad that we were here as well. We're about 2k away from the end of the path. Man, this has been intense. I don't understand how Dave is still standing. Are they emotional right now? Yeah. Yeah. Wow. That was insane. It's happened. Yeah. It's finished. I feel like you're emotional too. I'm I'm in shock, but look, like look at Martha's star, the show in the background there. Our well, girl. Good park up. So there you have it, the most challenging, draining, exhausting, stressful, but yet highly rewarding 11 days of our lives so far. <laughs> yeah, that was a bonding experience that none of us were ready for. <laughs> so with the record in his pocket, it's time for us to get ready to hit the road. Come and see if we start our next epic adventure. I'm very excited. Yes, thank you guys for watching. We'll see you next week.